Park alongside Angela Taylor. And Angela, I do think both of these teams have incredible depth and, and uh, chemistry about them. Uh, veteran balls clubs both have consistency in their starting lineups and know what it takes to get to postseason play. Yeah, the tricky part for Utah is some of the adversity that they hit early on. They lost Izzy Palmer after the third game of the season. They've been able to get her back, but she was a starting guard for this team as the shot from Foreman won't go. And then obviously lost losing uh, Gianna Neepkins in the preseason as Peely gets it going for Utah. First point. How about Davis. that? Your post player stepping into a trail three-point shot for the opening basket, and that is what Peely can do for you. Boy, she's needed that. She struggled a little bit, but continuing to look for her shot. She had 16 points in the win against Oregon, as that's what Colorado can do a lot of. The queen on the drive is swat out of, ble- out of play by Von Ley. We saw in that opening possession, the versatility of Peely is on display right here, trailing Von Ley went to the rim in transition and left Peely open for a wide open three. Now shoots at 40% behind the arc. Shot clock winding down and Foreman staying right with Vieta. Nice contest by Foreman. And Vieta comes from behind in the save. Swats it out of Sherrod's hands. How about the hustle? Loses it at one end and gets it right back. And that's one of the things that Vieta has brought to this ball club. She brings so much of a presence on the both offensive and defensive end. Balanced attack by the Utes. Jenna Johnson, she's been playing very well. Well, Utah's at their best when they get out in transition. And the shot from Von Ley off the back of the iron. They're working into Peely all by herself. Reverses it up and good. High off the backboard. Pretty. And Peely showing why she has such great footwork. Two very good defensive teams tonight. I think we think about their offense so much as Colorado's averaging 77 points a game, 81 a game for Utah, but they're both very defensive-minded as Sherrod averaging 13 a game sticks it. Well, Sherrod, you depend on her defensively, but she's opened up her offensive game right there. If you go behind her on the screen, the screen, she is going to make you pay from that elbow. Quay Miller hand in the passing lane. This is a stifling defense at times for Colorado. J.R. Payne saying not quite as consistent as we like as Vieta. Fake it one way, go the other. Nice step move move by Vieta. Attack of paint off the dribble. Utah, they've hit three of the last three shots as Von Ley goes in. Help D was sagging down. She stays down. Utah has numbers. A nice help side by Vieta creating that turnover. Peely on the trail this time. Too much. Batted around. Vieta, another chance for the Utes. Rebounding. Big focus for both of these teams. We knew that would be a key and important. Well, Utah takes so many three-point shots, and you oftentimes get long rebounds off of those three-point shots. McQueen getting into the action. She takes it inside. Definitely something the coaching staff is looking for is passing up a good shot for a much better shot. Quinn Miller, big hustle, but throws it out, and Wookie is there, outrunning Sherrod. This blazing speed to stop the layup. And then Vieta off the dribble, really attacking the paint. There's good defense by Frida Foreman. This is Vieta with a better move. Yeah, that was good patience to wait and find your opening. Vieta again. She's got Sherrod on her, turns it up. Can't get it. Head down and put her sprinter shoes on. Yep. She was determined to get back into that play. Tamia Sadler's checked in, as well as Charlotte Whitaker. Kendall Weta on as well. Some fresh legs as this one's been a high, fast pace. The Utes already three offensive boards. They've been hounding the glass, getting second chances. Nobody on Sadler drives it up off the backboard. Not going to get the whistle. We're letting them play. And a kick will be the call as Samantha Crisp will check in, as well as Deja Young. Utes glad to have Deja back. She's missed the last four games. She was out due to injury, so happy to have her back to add to that depth. She had been starting instead of Wilkie, but they're kind of liking the offensive spark of Wilkie. Yeah, Wilkie's been playing very well now in the starting lineup. Is more familiar with the system, what they are expecting both defensively and offensively, and Deja just brings such an explosive offensive score off the bench. Vieta, mismatch inside, needs some help. Young, little skip, nope, too much. They call the travel, and it's going to go the other direction. 
you like the idea. You want Deja to be really aggressive when she comes off the bench, creating offense. Just got a little bit too excited and a little bit out of control right there off the dribble. Yep. Lynn Roberts wanting an explanation. Melissa Barlow was actually demonstrating. Melissa Barlow, Kenneth Nash, Nicole Leone, our officiating crew tonight. Long rebound, another chance for the Buffs. Both teams need to do a much better job defensive rebounding, boxing out when the shot goes up and holding their opponents to one shot. Sherrod with the defender in her face, holds the follow through. Oh, she's feeling these teams, I think, added some nice pieces and additions through the transfer portal to go with kind of their, their set team that they had. These are both Sweet 16 teams from a season ago. Right, and adding key pieces that complement them both offensively and defensively. Chris, that was a great defensive play. And right now, exactly what we said, Deja Young doing a nice job attacking. Not afraid to take it. The transfer from Michigan and fighting for the board inside. It's Foreman and White. Utah thus far with a plus eight rebounding advantage. 11 rebounds to just three for Colorado. Buffs have struggled a bit with their scoring. They've been on a little bit of a drought over two minutes, and it's Jalen Sherrod with five of their seven points. So got to find some others to go with her as Deja Young, the and one. And Foreman's going to commit the personal, and that's a nice attack by Young. Great offensive possession by Utah. Feeling at the ball in the high post. Philly does such a great job. Floor vision. Deja Young with a really intense backdoor cut. And great job by Peely showing that she is not just a scorer, but she has the ability to share the ball and is a very unselfish player. Yeah, incredible hands, her footwork. As young to the stripe, again, glad to have her back after missing four in a row, but misses the free throw. Into Foreman. Can't quite get it. One rebound. Oh, and a collision between Vieta and Foreman. And Foreman took the brunt of that contact. I'm trying to get in on the action. And just being able to stand up after that. That is her second personal, though. Tough break. She takes the brunt, but also gets the second personal with just a little under two minutes left in the first quarter. Peely again, left side to reverse. Uses that body so well. Yeah. Alyssa Peely's footwork and her body control is something that stands out. Three of four shooting for Alyssa Peels. Maddie Nolan, the 5'11 grad student from Zionsville, Indiana. Transferred in from Michigan. And they love the addition that she's been able to bring both offensively and defensively to this Colorado team. 15th start for Nolan. They made a switch a little earlier in the season, and they have liked her in the starting lineup as White trying to shake Sherrod. See Sherrod picking up her defense on ball pressure a little bit. Wow. And she forces Vieta to readjust on that one. A contortion. High screen on Johnson. Bang shot good. Quay Miller getting into the action. They could use more of that. Her second shot attempt and her first points of the game. Well, Miller has the ability to be able to hit that high post jumper. Utah didn't come out and guard her off the dribble at all. And she's going to make you pay if you do not come out and guard her. High arc caused Colorado to struggle a bit with the offense. See if they can get something here. Sherrod shot just off. An extra effort, though, for Weta. Good job on the weak side boards to keep this alive as she gets fouled. Yep, they did not get there in time as Kendall Weta, the junior from Castle Rock, Colorado, makes the first free throw. Averaging about five points a game, but she does a little bit of everything. Her assist numbers have been phenomenal, almost four assists per game. She's so efficient. She only plays about 20 minutes per game as that one from Vieta off the mark the first quarter in the books and it is a 12 excuse me nine point Utah Lee heading into the second quarter. You have to be willing to not be the person on the, the finishing end of that that pass but to share it with your teammates. And I do think it's interesting both of these teams as far as the conference goes I mean Utah overall they are the top team in assists per game but Colorado is number two in that category they are also a team that Jared Payne said I want them to hunt for that high percentage shot. I don't know if they did that every time in the first quarter. We'll see if they can maybe get a few more assists going as well, be a little more patient. Defensively, they're doing a nice job of cutting off any paint touches for Colorado. Utah, five assists on 11 made field goals. That's a number that they'll look at so often. As the shot clock winding down, Easy Palmer has checked in. Trying to get a little more space, get the shot off. Just missing, and it's down. To Sadler and the Buffs out running. Sherrod, blazing speed, wrap around pass good. Izzy Palmer 
Started the first three games of the season. Her numbers were really impressive early on, and then they didn't get her back until January 19th as Peely. Wow. Whitaker was right there. She's really done a nice job this year. Quick crossover. Get yourself open. Sticks it. That's what I would love to see Colorado do. Guarding one another. Vieta, a little spinner. Steps it up. Lays it up good. Wow. Vieta says, I see your on ball pressure, and I'm going to up it. And as Coach Roberts said, she's just so proud of her and how she's elevated things. As shot for Sherrod, no good. Again, Colorado took that shot with about four seconds left on the shot clock. Utah's doing a nice job. Johnson. Squares it up, sticks it. Third three of the ball game for the Utah Utes. And J.R. Payne wants a timeout. Three-minute drought, though. Oh, for the last four. They could use a bucket right here. Mueller feeling out the D, but an offensive foul. Jenna Johnson standing around. Really nice defensive possession. Jenna Johnson, great job. One-on-one -on, -one on the low block. The double didn't come over, so she was one-on-one. -on -one. She did a great job. It's been physical. We expected that. It always is. That's what when Roberts has said. This is always a fight between us. Baseline on the right side. I think the Colorado bench is talking to him. Colorado having Foreman and Miller out condenses the floor. They don't have a lot of yeah. perimeter spacing and shooting. So. This is a team that averages 20 plus points from their bench. So others are going to have to step up. Definitely step up. You can tell Utah's strategy is to keep the ball out of the paint. And if you don't have those three-point shooters, it's going to make it really difficult to get paint touches, whether off a dribble or on the low block. Tamia Sadler running the point, using the screen from Whitaker, drives it up, lays it up pretty. Good soft touch and finish by the senior. Well, Sadler's one of the players for Colorado. Well, I don't know about you, Chris. I actually like that the refs are letting them play. These yeah. are two physical ball clubs. Yep, I'm with you on that. With Deja Young, exactly what they need to see, some productivity off the bench. Yeah, definitely so young with the three ball. She's got seven points. Under two minutes left in the first half as that one was just short for Sherrod. Vieta, so quick with the ball. Young, feeling confident, glad to be back out there and playing. And Vieta was trying to backdoor cut, saves it, gets it out to Johnson, rattles that one in. Hustle plays paying off. Hustle plays are the difference for Utah right now. 16-point game, and a lot of it is because Utah is just... Has a little bit of Wilkie's back in. Good help and recovered by Wilkie. Sherrod, just short. And a good box out by Wilkie. And that'll put Utah in the bonus with 25.5 left in this first half. I think we underestimate, like, what the Pac-12 conference is like to play in. We talked a little bit earlier about Izzy Palmer and her adjustment coming back after that long injury. It is not easy to just <laughs> lace them up and come back in to play against a number of top 25 teams every night in and night out. But it's great to see Wolfie getting a little bit more comfortable in this, this Utah system. Yeah, it sure is. They just come off the win against Oregon, 17 points that tied her season high and five threes for her in that one as she gets the second free throw. Free to Foreman back in for this offensive opportunity maybe to get a look at a shot. She had those two personals that have kind of kept her on the bench the majority of the way. Utah right now with their largest lead of the game. Von Ley inside, turns it up, sticks it. And that is a tough play to stop with the play of Von Ley inside. Vieta off the backboard, no good. And that's going to do it for the first half of action here in Salt Lake City. Defensively, they need to do a much better job of cutting off the dribble penetration by the Utah guards. We thought the first half was physical. I'm expecting even more here in this one as we're getting ready for the inbound, and we are underway. These games, so important. It's not easy out on the road. Both of these teams, they're, they're travel partners. For the most part, they will head to UCLA and USC next weekend. Those are not going to be easy matchups either. But a single game this weekend, maybe a plus at this time of the year as well. It's starting to hit a grind and back to home play. Double team coming over to try to help on Peely. The kick out to McQueen off the back of the iron. And it was... Trying to box out Nolan, but instead, 
A second chance for the Utes, and they make them pay. So the missed box out leads to the score. And Coach Payne talked about that in shoot-around. Those long rebounds off of three-point shots. They're hunting open threes, and that the most efficient three is off an offensive rebound. Like the aggressive play by Von Lee inside, I think that Coach J.R. Payne would like more of that. Yeah, great ball movement by Utah. Very unselfish. Kicking it out for the wide-open shooter. And this will... They're a step quicker. They're getting yep. to balls. They're getting to all the loose balls and just hustling. And already trying to seal up Peely and does. <laughs> Peely to the court. Miller on Johnson. And now free to Foreman out on Vieta. Foreman picked up those two personals early in the first half. She only played six minutes as Wilkie. Hustle play. The old board. Vieta moving without the basketball. And wow, the tenth offensive rebound. Yeah, nice job by Wilkie of crashing the boards. Sherrod did not put a body on her, and Sherrod went right over and got that offensive rebound. The extra pass makes the difference. Quay Miller steps right up and sticks it in back-to-back position. Healy trying to get some room, frustrated with herself. That was good defense by Von Lane. Foreman back at you on this side, back-to-back three balls. That'll get you back into the game. And they didn't get out in transition, Colorado, in the first half. If you get stopped, you're going to be able to get out in transition, and that'll open the floor up for them. First points of the game for Frida Foreman as McQueen with an and one. Lost her defender, and then Von Lay with the help a little too late. Well, for Foreman, her gravity, even if she isn't getting a touch. It certainly is the crossover. She also uses her body well. Gets the long rebound. It'll stay here. So follows her shot. And the second foul on Vieta. So back-to-back personals. Floor general for this team. Going up the stat sheet. Eight points, six rebounds, four assists. Ari on the ball game. You want to make sure she stays on the floor. She's going to have to watch her aggressiveness. Uh, what a look by Sherrod. Could have taken a little mid-range jumper instead. The layup with the pass down to Sadler. Colorado is getting higher quality looks here because they're sharing the ball, they're moving the ball with much more pace and tempo. Sixth assist for Sherrod and then Vieta on the sideline. Shot just short, rebound down to the Buffs. So Utah struggling a little bit. Well, and Utah had 10 offensive rebounds in the first half which kept Colorado out of transition. They're doing a much better job of boxing out and holding them to one shot. And a takeaway by Vieta. Ball fake, lays it up, good. And an offensive foul call. Miller needs to hold off to, for just one second, let Sadler get set before she dribbles coming off of that screen. It's you. Everybody, except for Sherrod, that's on the floor with two personals for the Buffs. Sadler has three. And Peely on the right baseline is good. The baselines have been there for her. They have. And if you're Whitaker, you're in a bind. Do you come out and guard her? Because Peely has the ability to put the ball on the floor and go to the rim. All Utah right now, 51-36 with five minutes left in the ball game. Yeah, they came out immediately, Colorado did, and they kind of punched first. They were being aggressive. They were scoring, but then four turnovers in a row in two minutes' time, and Utah took advantage of it. Yeah, every possession matters. You can't afford to take away offensive possessions. Working it inside. Jenna Johnson with another one. Much needed bucket for the Buffs. And that was Charlotte Whitaker. But Utah pushing tempo. And Vieta almost saving it there. Instead of turnover, good pressure by the Buffs to get that one back. Sharon and Vieta, Deja Young back in for Utah. She'll match up with Foreman. Oh, good movement, the cut, and the look. Sherrod feeds her. Sherrod off the dribble. You have to honor her in that high post area. Defense was looking at Sherrod, and that lets the backdoor cut happen. A beautiful pass play, beautiful finish by Kendall Weta. Yeah, I love the communication, the active movement for Kendall Weta. 
much better ball movement and body movement by Colorado offensively in the second half. Certainly so. Six points for her, but Deja Young continues to attack. Points in the paint have been dominated in this one by Utah, a team that averages 11 threes. They've only got five of them in this. They're getting it done elsewhere. Yeah, Deja Young, nine points, has been really aggressive off the dribble, and that's opened up her perimeter jumper as well. Pretty shot just around the free throw line for Foreman. She's got five points. But a takeaway. Good D by Smith. Takes it all the way. Sarah Rose Smith, the transfer from Missouri out of Victoria, Australia. Good denial by Weta. It's third quarter. More scoring as stepping over Weta draws the offensive foul. That's a pretty assist by Sherrod, her seventh of the game. She's still up for the wooden top 20, the Naismith midseason as well. As they drop it down to Whitaker, the and one. Buffs on the attack. Whitaker going for the triple play here. Can't get it. Just 6 of 12 from the stripe on the season is Whitaker, but doesn't get the three-point play. But how about a 6-0 run for the Buffs? They have flipped this one around with just two minutes left in the third. It's been a high-scoring third quarter compared to really the other two. And there's another takeaway. Defense creating offense for Colorado. When Colorado was back in a zone, that was the first possession where Colorado was in a zone defense. Took Utah by surprise, and now they are facing out this 2-3 zone and going to trap in the corners. With Colorado outscoring the youth 24-16 this quarter as Deja Young rolls that one up and over. Nice job by Young. The thing that's going to be open against a 2-3 zone is going to be the middle of the floor. Nice job getting the ball in the middle of the floor and attacking that post player off the dribble. But Angela, the timing of this push by Colorado is important because they controlled the fourth quarter in Boulder against Utah. Now they've gotten it below double figures. Utes led by three in Boulder back in December as that little mid-range jumper goes. Is they want to continue to chip away. They know if they get into the fourth quarter, they can be explosive because of their defense. Both teams in the bonus at this point. It'll put Vieta to the stripe. The foul was on Weta, her first. As the first free throw, for a player that Coach Roberts told us she plays at full speed at both ends of the floor. Colorado is being really aggressive, attacking the offensive glass. Head down, flies in, and oh, Sherrod, slow to get up, hobbling, kind of holding the left leg. McQueen makes them pay, and Sherrod gingerly making her way to the sidewalk. Sherrod went back up the court, but it didn't look good. It looked like she landed and grabbed that knee. Yeah. Not sure if we'll be able to see it. She is so fast, and you hope that maybe there was just some contact, but wow. Oh. Yeah, she and Peely made some contact, and hopefully it's just something minor. Yeah, it looked like on the landing, there was a little lower body contact that had her land a little awkwardly on that left leg. Just a little bit off balance. Big three afterwards, her first of the game. She has eight points. The crowd's now into this. Colorado needs to, to kind of quiet the crowd down, get a good offensive possession. All 5,999, making some noise. That one won't go. Young, a chance for more. Can't get it. So close. And that's going to do it for the third quarter here in Salt Lake City. Systems and scouts to make sure no one is going to go off. But let's wait to this fourth quarter. This is where Sherrod, in the last matchup, she had 34 points, her career high. Yeah. And most of them came in the fourth quarter where she was creating havoc defensively, getting into the paint, and getting some easy layups. Yeah, in Boulder back in December, Utah was up by three, got the ball on a low block, and she got to the free throw line. And Jalen Sherrod did a great job defensively getting easy looks and transition off of her defensive pressure and attacking the paint off the dribble. I'm so glad to see Sherrod out on the floor. We weren't sure there was some contact prior to the end of the third, but you knew she wasn't going to miss this quarter. You knew she'd be out there. This is too big of a ball game <laughs> to see Jalen Sherrod not come back into the fourth quarter. Great to see. She is such a warrior. Speaking of warriors, Alyssa Peely with the three ball. That's the third time in this game that Colorado has not matched
match up with Peely or Johnson in transition. Buffalo players have the ability to shoot the three. You have to match up with them in transition or they will make you pay. Second three of the game for Peely. She has 16 points. The Utah team that hit some adversity, a team that was picked to win this conference. They had a big target on their back as back at you with the three. That's Maddie Nolan. Well, not only just through the conference, but when you think they're playing very well, a dangerous team heading into the latter stages of the Pac-12 regular season play and certainly conference tournament. Yep, they certainly are. Jumps into the line. She's fouled by Nolan. One for two from the line for Jenna Johnson. Foreman into Miller. Trying to get away from Johnson, and he'll say a foul instead on Jenna Johnson. That's her second. Quay Miller, another grad student that stuck around for another season. This is the first. She's 74% free throw. And Sherrod on the bench. Quay Miller is going to be the player that I'd love to see go. This is something that we've seen a lot from Oregon this season. They don't have a lot of depth. They have gone with the zone D, and it's kept them out of some foul trouble. It's been a big plus for them. There's a scrum on the floor, and Lynn Roberts not happy about it. Excessive there. It'll be interesting to see if the officials take a look at this. Greta came for the help to come over, and she kind of reached in and swatted, and then Sadler came over for some help. And then Whitaker with the crunch right there, but there easily could have been a foul called when Whitaker did a supine, or one of those wrestling moves. Crowd making some noise. Foreman, she can get hot. Good to Foreman. For enough space to still be able to get her shot off. All Pac-12 on will mention a season ago. Johnson's three, no good. Weak side board. And Peely with the hook tee coming around. Sadler saying it had to be a jump ball. 17 points. You have 17 and it's hardly noticed. Oh, get some both. So Utah going somewhat small here. Jenna Johnson at the center. Yep, Deja Young will hang out and guard Clay Miller. Wilkie trying to hang with form, and you got to give her a look. She rattles that one around good. Shooters touch. Wilkie did a nice job trying to come off of that screen. Any daylight for Foreman, she will use it. She's that kind of scorer. She has 11. Yes. Yeah, finger good. Good patience by her. Three minutes remaining. And this one is good double by Utah. Continuing. Yeah. Again, Vieta doing a nice job dribbling out of that double team. Two and a half left, and both teams in the bonus as well. As hand in the passing lane by Weta, right to Sherrod, and good transition D by Utah. But then leaves Miller up top. Can't get it. Von Lay, another chance. Oh, and a jump ball. Nice chance. Great hands by Peely. Yep. She has such strong hands. Nice job reaching in without fouling. Great timing in the hands of Peely. Oh, giving it up to Vaughn Lay, and she faces up good. Nice job by Weta. She saw help side coming over with a shot blocker. Was patient, got that shot blocker up off the floor. A nice dump off to Vonda. Full court pressure again, foul against the Bucks will put Utah to the free throw line. They've had a few too many turnovers also. you got to give some credit to the effort by Colorado. Colorado's been really aggressive in their full court pressure and in their half court 2-3 zone. One for three tonight for Johnson, a 68% free thrower. Junior from Minnesota, got her 1,000th career point in their last game. 20 points for her in that one, the win against Oregon. A seven point lead for the Utes. Bonley deep in the paint, tries to reverse, another chance, gets it, stays with the determination. Bonley showing her athleticism. She was the first one off the floor on that opportunity for an offensive rebound and put it right back up. She's got 12 points, but a foul call on the inbound. It's going to go against Colorado. Vonley's done a nice job. 
Yeah, she certainly has. She's, she's been much more aggressive in this half. I thought that Charlotte Whitaker off the bench came in, nice has shot. given some big effort as well. Weta, it's been nice for them to see Foreman on the floor again. 0 for 3 for her in the first half. She had two personals. She sat. She only played six minutes. She's got 11 points. They've all come this half. Yeah, a lot of balance. Johnson will take a seat. Quay Miller will as well. So Utah doing a little bit of their own full court pressure, trying to take some time off the shot clock for Colorado. Just have to be careful, though. Both teams in the bonus. Sherrod lays it up. And that's not what you cannot let happen. Sherrod, you have to be able to stop ball. And she had two players on the ball, and she was still able to beat them both and get to the rim. Vieta splits the defenders. Trying to break free and does. Two-possession game with a minute remaining. And Colorado going to come out, but not foul. Maddie Nolan back in for the buffs. One minute left in the game, one minute. Colorado needs to stop. Almost got it there, they do. Sherrod, defense to offense. Weta with the finish. Sherrod is so dangerous when she's on ball. That 2-3 zone, extending it, trapping. I mean, this is a team effort for Colorado. See what the Utes have drawn up. They get it to Vieta. And she is guarded by Sherrod. And help D coming over and a takeaway. And Vieta frustrated as she trips up Sherrod. And the buffs in the bonus. Sherrod, and she is slow to get up. I'm not certain. She's kind of reaching for the back right Maybe hamstring. Gonna make sure we've got the shot clock, game clock. Ooh. And there you go. 43.3. And slow moving. Get rehabbed and get herself ready for next weekend. And a break for the Buffs. No second game this weekend. They will head back to Boulder. Are they in the bonus? They're in the bonus, so it looks like. Yes. The officials have the ball on the side, but it, it should be a free throw opportunity. It was against Vieta, her third foul. Interesting. So, the, so Colorado taking the side, ball on the side. Sherrod off the floor. It looks like she's going to the scores table. Yep. It's going to be hard to keep her out of this game. That's for certain. Foreman on the drive, but a whistle and a foul as she gets knocked to the hardwood. Sherrod back on. Good to see. Sadler as well through the Foreman to the stripe. A 92% free thrower is Foreman. Senior from Denmark gets the first. The first free throw of the evening, and she's got 12 points. What a third and fourth quarter. Right now, Colorado up 21-11 in this quarter. It is like a deja vu from Boulder back in December. And Utah's in a four-minute drought here in the fourth quarter. So see how much pressure Colorado puts on this inbound. They've been in that zone. And remember, that zone defense that they switched to in the second half in particular has caused problems. As the Utes get the inbound, they thought about the trap. They don't get it. Weta out on Vieta. Nice shot for keeping the ball in the middle of the floor. And now a trap. And a takeaway by Foreman. Lefty layup is good. First lead of the game for Colorado. And Vieta took the ball to the to the corner. You do not want to dribble into the corner. That just allows that defense to, to set up that trap. And frustration for Inesh Vieta after Giving that last one up right now with just 19 seconds left. Colorado takes their first lead. Vieta gets the first. 15 points for Vieta. Stepped up to the line with a lot of confidence right there. Expect Colorado to call a timeout and advance the ball to half court. The no timeouts, no timeouts, no timeouts, no yeah. timeouts left. Okay, my bad. That's a big key. That's a big key. Guys. But they have 19 seconds. They can't call the timeout. Utah lets them bring it on up. A one-point Utah lead. Sherrod drives it up. No. Oh, Monley with the putback. Utah does have a timeout. Not going to take it. Five on the clock. Young trying to get a little closer. She does. 